Hi, I'm Rihanna Kidra and I'm your head girl. I've just popped in school today for a UCAS day and I thought I would give you a whistle stop tour of our school and all of my favourite parts of the school. So right now I'm standing in the main student entrance to the school and if you got a bus or you were dropped off at the Astro, you would walk down this hall and then you'll see the Astro and the lacrosse fields and you'll come through this door and then you'll walk into your locker area. So in here you'll have year 10 lockers and year 11 lockers. Once you get to the end of this hall, you'll start to enter the sports department. So here we do many sports, including netball, hockey, lacrosse, swimming. And we also have a swimming pool, which is also in this area. And then if you're doing sports, you have clubs, or even you have any fixture questions, here's the sports department. So you can talk to any of the teachers. There's usually about five teachers in there at all times. And as I do sports myself, I've been in there many times, and it's not scary at all. You'll be absolutely fine. So I'm now going to show you the LRC, so do you want to follow me? So here we have the LRC, so this is like our library. So we have some computers here, we have the printer. At the beginning of the year, each student gets a printing budget. So depending on what year you get, you'll get a certain amount of money. So I'm a sixth form and I get £25 printing budget, which is more than enough for all the stuff I do. And then into here, we have the non-fiction library. So you'll have some lessons in here where your teacher will book out the whole lesson time and you can get a book and you'll read it. And then you'll also do some group work in here with all the different tables. And then we have the goldfish room. This is used for some meetings or even if nobody's in there, you and your friends can book it out. So you can have like group sessions in here or just talk to an individual teacher if you like. And here's where the librarian will sit and they will issue out a book for you. So any book you need and you, if you can't find it, you can just ask them, they'll look it up for you, tell you if they have it or if they don't have it, they can give you access online to it. So everything you need is right here. And then in here we have the compass room. And this is the silence library. So you'll normally find your 12s and your 13s in here doing their work because they need more silence than you do. And even if you're here at lunchtime, you can come in here, sit here and do your work quietly if you want. So that's all fine. And then when you're finished in there, if you have a free, because some of the year 11s, they don't do language. So if you have a free, you'll have to sign in there's usually a register just on this table. You'll sign in, you'll say what lesson you're meant to be in, what free, and then you'll see what teacher, usually your form as well, and then you can make your way into the compass room. So now we're gonna head over to a sixth form and I'll show you the study loft. So this is the sixth form study loft. It's quite hidden, it's at the very top of the school and it's in the sixth form area. I don't think anyone else would actually know this place exists until you get to sixth form, because I didn't. And it's a good place to sit here and quiet, do your work, and you can listen to music, do whatever you want. And I think it's quite good when you want to just get away. Instead of going to the library, you can just come here, do whatever you want. I think that's quite good. So here we're in the sixth form common room, and I think this is my favourite area of school. And I think I can probably speak to, speak to all the year 12s and year 13s when I say this is their favourite area to eat. So here we just come just to relax, wind down after lessons. It's a nice place just to talk to your friends, meet other people, even like you get to know the other years in here a lot better. So I know that me and like the year 13s, we made better bonds in here. You also do have some house assemblies in here. So every time where your house assembly is will change. And sometimes you might be in here. So this is a good place for you tonight. I don't know, kind of like wind down, meet your friends and even meet new people when you're meeting all the different years in house assemblies. So these are the sixth form lockers. They're quite different to the rest of the school, very bright. So I think this appeals to some people, some people not so much, I think. It depends on what you think. And here is the bridge. So our career officers, they just a link inside there so if you have any questions you can just go to there and speak to them about anything i think it is tailored towards sixth form but even if you're in year 10 or year 11 and you want some work experience at nice you can go there whenever so here we have the drama and dance department 
So you have all your dance lessons in here, and in here we have one of the dance studios. We also have another one that's right next to the PE department, but, but this is the main one. So you have ballet, modern, jazz, tap in here. And then if you were coming to watch a play, you would come here, this is like the reception for the dance area, you'll come here, you can speak to any of the dance teachers here, and then you'll come through this area, this foyer, which has been recently done, and then down here you'll come into the drama studio, and in here you'll have performances, and you'll even have your drama lessons in here, with Mrs. Howe and Mrs. Lang. And these are the year seven and year eight lockers. And here we have the I Create space. This is probably like, probably one of the best features of the school. It's a new area and it's just for like research. You can sit here in these chairs, these area bits with your friends. You'll have sometimes lessons in here. I know I've had a few lessons in here for biology. And you just come in here, you can do anything in this space. You've got, you can write on the tables, so you can do any calculations if you're doing anything in chemistry or biology. Or you can also just come in here, sit in here when you have some clubs. So I know Mrs. Till runs some clubs in here, and I think it's a real great space just to come and relax, but also do your work at the same time, rather than just go into the library. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jaya and I'm Deputy Head Girl in charge of Internal Relations at BTS. One of my favourite places to go in the school is the Drama Department. This is because I love seeing how this big black space, which in effect is the main performance area, how it completely transforms to fit the ongoing performances. So when I was doing Alice in Wonderland about two years ago, I remember seeing how in effect this plain big black room completely transformed and there was these revolving backdrops which were so cool and you could go through them and then on the floor there was this incredible tiled floor which looked amazing with the lighting. I love just seeing how completely different it looks. Another place where I really like to go, especially on a nice hot summer day, is Outside Wing House. Um, which in effect is the main language department within the school. Um, there are these picnic tables and surrounding them is some really nice greenery and it's such a nice place to sit down and have some lunch or just chill out with your friends and enjoy the sun. Hi, I'm Liz and I'd like to share a few of my favourite places around the school with you. Um, the first one being the Sixth One Common Room because it's where I spend most of my breaks at lunch times. Uh, because it's a nice space where everyone's usually hanging around um, between lessons and it's nice to catch up with everyone in there and um, I also make my tea in there between lessons and that's, that's really good. Um, I also like Checkers because you can get some really good food in there, some nice snacks, um, yeah so that's, that's a nice space. Other than that, when I want to really um, get into studying or really focus on my work, I usually go to either the Compass Room or the Sixth Form Study Loft. Um, the Compass Room is usually for like projects because you're surrounded by all of these um, topic specific books that can really help you in what you're looking for when you're working and it's also quite a nice calm quiet place where you want to um, for when you really want to get into your homework and your extra extra things. Um, I also like uh, the Sixth Form Study Loft because it's usually a lot calmer in there and a lot less busy. So if you really want to clear your mind when you want to focus um, on your work for a vision or an essay, then that's a good place to go. Um, I also really like the conference room. It's in the library and it's, it's just a, a space that I associate with really good lessons or really animated activities. Um, for example, in English, when we when we have a lesson book for the common sprints room, we know that it's it's going to be a, a good, motivated, um, independent lesson because we usually have. Um, we usually get given a, a topic to explore for our for our literature or a research question, um, 
and then we, we go out into the library and we collect all of this research and it's, it's nice to actively do that instead of um, just sitting online. It's nice to go out and look for the books that you want and then um, collate it all and, and, and write it up and, and relate it to the literature you're studying. Yeah, I really enjoy those lessons um, and it, it's nice to have that kind of active activity um, and you can, you can work with the, the other girls in your class as well for that and that's, that's really good. Um, conference room is also where we hold Model United Nations, which is a lunchtime club where we discuss current affairs and um, also hold debates. And it's set up in a way that makes everyone's point um, relevant and it's just like a really inclusive space for when you want to hold discussions like that. Um, other than that, I would also say that I really like languages, um, like the language block, but that's probably more to do with the fact that my favourite subjects are held there. Um, but it is a really nice atmosphere in that room. Um, yeah, I, re I really like that area of the school. Um, yeah, those are my favourite areas of the school.